Hey, what's good, boys? We're back again. Back to break down this week's UFC main card. If you're raw here, he's me, I'm boy. Break that subscribe button if you're looking for juicy locks and laughs. And this Bantamweight beef right here is righteous. We got the Georgian, Marab the Machine, Devalashvili, Gama Jorba to all our Georgia brothers out there. Taking on Cody Stamen. I find this one super interesting because it's going to be a tough test for Marab. I mean, Cody Stamen has almost twice the professional experience and a skill set that, if you think about it, is very similar to that of Marab Devalish Billies, right? Both these dudes are wrestling, pressure heavy, decision machines, pun intended. And it feels like a fight where we'll see who's better at that style of fighting. Stamen's basically six and two in the UFC if you were to give him credit for the baffling draw versus Song Yudong. We're watching that fight together. A fight that seemed an obvious win for Stamen that he kind of got screwed by some uh, questionable judging in that one. So he's essentially six and two, right? And Marab, very similar, five and two in the UFC and one super bizarre loss to Ricky Simone with literally no time left on the fight. And some of just probably the strangest ending we've ever seen. And, uh, you know, before that, he had some jitters, Oxcon jitters debut and, and a loss to the veteran Frankie Signs. His wins, though, all dominant, all unanimous, a couple meat lockers sprinkled in there. Uh, so this one's interesting. Who, who are you going with me? Because Stamen's no joke. So you got Cody Stamen or uh, Marab the Machine Javal is really going to take him out. Yeah, no, this is uh, actually one of my uh, most anticipated fights. I'm super excited for this one. Uh, big fan of the machine. Uh, and I, I do like the Spartan. You know, Cody Stamen is the man. You know, uh, he's always out there to perform, put on a good show. Uh, he's a killer. Uh, but, you know, our Georgia brother, the machine, uh, you know, Marab, he, he is just, uh, you know, an absolute animal. Um, I think he's going to take this pretty convincingly uh, with his grappling. Um, now, it will surprise me if he tries to stand up with Cody. I think Cody will have the slighter edge, but it wouldn't surprise me if Marab kind of uh, shows us what he's been working on. Um, the only thing that does kind of concern me, you know, is uh, Mar Marab, he, he did a little, uh, you know, um, I would say a, a little swim test for us in some uh, icy cold waters. And it's going like that. You know, he, he hit his head pretty hard, so and he hasn't fought since. And I, and I wonder how he's doing. I wonder if he's got a chin after that. Like, that had to have hurt. I don't know what that did to his head or his training or his neck or his chin. Anything could have happened. So I am a little worried on that part. But, uh, I mean, this is an absolute lock, I would say, if it wasn't for that swimming accident in the icy lakes. Um, but I, I still think he's going to get it done from what we've seen previously. But... We'll, we'll have to find out. Yeah, you bring up some great points, right? You wonder if there's any, you know, lingering effects of the icy lake skull crusher because that thing looks pretty brutal. He, he you know, he, he was bleeding pretty heavily, and uh, I don't know. You, you'd hate to see that affect the contest in any way. But you brought up a lot of great points. Uh, I do feel like Marab, you know, has probably superior training partners. I mean, he is out there uh, going with the champ nonstop, Aljamain Sterling. So. Uh, he's always working with tough guys, Sarah Longo, BJJ, the ally of Quintas. You, you, you know those guys are coming, ready to scrap. And Marab has just been out there, you know, really making light work of all of his opponents, right? When was the last time we saw Marab Devalish Billy in a close fight? And I think Cody Stamen can present a, a lot of challenges, but I just don't know if he's good enough to, to get through the machine Devalish Billy. If we look at Tapology, 87% is going with the machine. Uh, they don't seem to think that the uh, ice crusher will, will be affecting too, too much. Uh, but a majority going by decision. Um, an interesting thing to look at within this fight, too, is that if you look at both these guys combined wins, 35% of their total wins have ended with them finishing their opponent, meaning 65% of the time when these guys win, they're winning by decision. So uh, I think the over two and a half, while you might not get the uh, – best looking numbers for it might be something to explore because uh, a decision is probably a fair bet for Devalish really. I mean, you see all that beige. So you talk about the stand-up game at all. Do you think that Stamen's only path to victory is a KO? And is there any way Marab gets a TKO finish in this one? Uh, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, the machine's an animal. He could be training his striking this whole time and he he's out there to put on a statement, but I think he's going to stick to his roots. I think he's going to maul ground and pound. Could get a TKO on the ground. Um, I would be uh, uh, pretty mind blown if the Spartan does get a, a, a YOLO submission. Um, but I think the only uh, path to victory for Cody 
is going to be on the feet. We saw his, uh, you know, I feel like he had a hard time uh, with the wrestling versus Song Yudong until Song started to gas out, and then he really started to piece him up later in the rounds. So Song Yudong's wrestling is nowhere near the machines, so this should should be pretty light work for wrestling, unless Cody's just been, uh, you know, head silent and uh, didn't do nothing but wrestling. It, it wouldn't surprise me, though. For sure, yeah. I'm expecting Murab to maybe get cracked a couple of times. Maybe it'll take a minute or two to wake up, but uh, then a dominant decision affair after that. So we're both going with Murab, the machine, Devolish, Vili. Check out other vids, Meat Boys, and uh, make sure you look for the Meat Locker. <laughs> Thank you.